Have you ever wanted to make your own Google Docs with a built-in collaborative text editor feature that lets it so multiple users can edit the same document at the exact same time? There are structures in computer science that we can leverage that allow you to do this called CRDTs. They are conflict-free data types. They make it really simple for you to transmit change events, like as you're typing on the keyboard, and all those keystrokes can be transmitted to your, your peers as they are connected uh, to the same document source, which makes it really easy for you to build collaborative experiences, specifically experiences like this one, where you can have an editor, uh, multiple editors, who are working on the same doc at the same time. So I'm editing the doc as well, the same time. And then you can have another user over here who might be copy and pasting uh, a bunch of different emojis or something like that, right? So we can do emojis here, right? So we've got uh, the ability for multiple users to edit the same doc at the exact same time. We're leveraging uh, CRDTs with YJS and we're using Lexical Text Editor plugin by Meta. Really easy to try and check out. All, all we have to do is uh, Google, you know, Collaborative Text Editor with PubNub, YJS, CRDT, and Lexical, which is a lot to... That is a, a lot to Google, but if you, if you Google those things, you will find uh, this repository here, the PubNum Lexical YGS WebSocket plugin, and that lets you build your own text editor that is live and collaborative. And it is written uh, in React. Uh, you can, of course, uh, probably, um, not everyone has React, right? So that's, that's the trick. Not everyone's using React. Though the good news is that uh, you could easily kind of embed that into any existing project as needed for your collaborative text editing experience. Another good bonus is that it might be fairly straightforward also to port as needed to your own uh, your own system. But that's 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 like if if you're like really wanting to build something extra extra custom. The good news is you you do probably probably don't have to because Lexical is already a fully extensible text editor framework that makes it really easy for you to build uh, and add in any of the features. They already have a ton of plugins, so you don't really have to build anything extra. And that's great. So you can leverage the lexical text editor, which is a rich text editor, and then you can uh, add real-time embedded collaborative text editing experiences using this repository here and following this example. We're gonna take a peek at under the hood at what it takes to build a live collaborative text editing experience just like Google Docs. When you go into Google Docs, you can have a document that's shared with multiple users and they can all type at the doc at the exact same time collaboratively editing the document in real time. And you can build that exact same experience leveraging this P PubNub Lexical YJS uh, WebSocket plugin. Now let's take a look at what some of the code looks like here for that. We'll jump straight into the main. Now we're gonna see some pretty lightweight code. We see that we've got ourselves a React app here running with React and React DOM, of course. Uh, and we render, you know, just our, our homepage, which is, is gonna look like this, right? Our PubNub Collaborative Shared Document Editor with Lexical. And this is where that H1 is right here. And, and then we have our app, which in this case is going to be our collaborative text editor. And so we can see that we have our collaborative text editor right here and we can edit our document. We can reload the document and then we can see all of our text here that is also shared across multiple screens, which is great. So all we have to do is look at what the app is now. So we jump into that code really quick. So here's our app TSX file. This one's a little more robust because we are importing a whole bunch of lexical components, which are gonna be our text editor, right? We need a bunch of a uh, text editor. We need a, uh, a plugin, we need the composer. We need to have a YJS, which is the CRDD part, which uh, sort of enables that collaborative text editing. And we need that because we need to be able to merge conflicts. As multiple users are typing, you know, they can type over each other and we need to, be able to merge those changes in real time, really easy. And that's what it's CRDT has helped conflict-free data type. What I really like, so there's a lot of diagrams and models, what I really like about uh, con the conflict-free replicated data type is that it uh, provides my sort of my favorite approach to data replication in that model. The idea is, uh, in the cap theorem, you can only have, you know, uh, strong consistency, um, high performance, right? Very low latency. We've got partition tolerance and availability. So you can see uh, as we're replicating data, 
can we lose chunks of our data and then still be okay because we've got replicated copies, right? Partition tolerance. Availability, meaning that if data does go offline, is it is it possible that we can have failover? And consistency means that if you read, no matter what you read, no matter who reads it, they're always gonna get the exact same kind of data. Now, this is the, the top one here. In a distributed model, when you have millions of users, consistency is gonna be very challenging in their high scale scenarios. So that's why my favorite options is to combine availability and partition tolerance because you can get the best possible performance. And with the eventual consistency, not strong consistency, but eventual consistency, everyone will eventually be up to date with the ability to have idempotent operations with CRDTs, conflict-free replicated data types. Essentially, it allows you to have multiple writers and readers everywhere distributed across the planet, uh, and all their data can get replicated and copied to each other's systems, allowing for eventual consistency. At the end, all the data will be replicated and copied, and everything will look the same, which is amazing. And so like, favorite kind of data. So when we're configuring our editor, we have an initial placeholder, right? So we can have loading. And then we have our uh, our editor config where you're gonna have your document namespace. Now, this is gonna be the document ID, right? What, it, what identifies this document? Um, you will wanna make sure that each document has a unique namespace, allowing it to sort of maintain that consistency on that document in that namespace. You can also customize the theme to make it look like the design that you're interested in. And then you need to configure your username, right? What's the user gonna be? Uh, and the user ID. You'll wanna put your API keys in. Uh, these are the PubNub API keys. Go to admin.pubnub.com and then you can sign in to get your API keys. Simply register and then you can get your own API keys. And that's about it. The rest is uh, the lexical configuration for the toolbar, right? So we get, you know, the bold. We need to be able to bold uh, and then have some extra alignments here. So I can center this like a title, clean up some of the text here. And of course, it's all replicated between the two windows. So all of my text is nicely edited and clean. The editor text itself is rich text, so that way we can have highlighting and uh, it's not gonna be just text, it's gonna be um, any, so I can uh, under underline it, strike out, things like that. And then the collaborative configuration allows you to create the customized uh, cursor color. You can also specify the username here, and I set this to the public config. I commented it out, so that way we're using random, random uh, names, which are kind of fun. There's not much else to configure beyond that. And that that's it, you'll have a collaborative, <laughs> all right, all right, that's great. You'll, you'll have a collaborative text editor ready to go, all the code, really easy to use. And if you wanna try it out yourself, there is a button. There's the, 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 the link is right here. Just click on the link, it'll jump straight in and you'll be able to start editing text with any other user. Just copy and paste this link and you're good to go.